So now we're moving on to the food court simulation exercise, which, as I mentioned, is going to count as a third quarter test. Let's start with a quick video clip to show you what you're trying to prevent. So you've received, or you will receive, a letter from the principal of Oak Grove City High School. He is offering the student council a chance to pick restaurants for a new high school cafeteria food court similar to what you saw in uh, that website of the company that actually designs these food courts. So it's a real product. The principal is also offering the student council an incentive for getting the choice right. 20% of the proceeds go to the student council. So what would you say to a student council retreat in the Bahamas over spring break? Of course, you won't get to go on that retreat if you get voted out of office. So you have to come up with restaurants that offer students a marginal utility for dollar that they like. Fortunately for you, maximizing student marginal utility per dollar is going to help you maximize profits. Again, you are out to maximize total profits. The calculation is straightforward. Profit equals total revenue minus total cost. What you take in at the cash register minus the cost of producing those meals. Your first step then is to calculate the total revenues that each restaurant would bring in at each price based on the number of students who would be willing and able to purchase the meal offered by that restaurant at that price. In other words, uh, determined by the demand schedule. Take a look at the total revenue worksheet on the bottom right-hand corner. On this worksheet, you have space to enter the total revenue that would be generated, again, by each restaurant at a series of prices. So how do you know what quantities to use when you're finding total revenue by multiplying price times quantity? Go to Table 1, which you should also have. is the demand for entrees. It says a number 39 in the bottom. See how many of each entree students would be willing and able to buy at each price. Multiply the quantity times the price and enter it into your total revenue table. Hang on to this, by the way. You're going to need these tables uh, to get your final answer. So let's take an example. At a price of $6, what would, how many crab craps would Fleur de Lis sell? It would sell nine for a total revenue of $54. How many chicken entrees would the roastery sell at a price of $6? It would sell eight for a total revenue of $48. And that's enough for today. Rather than try to collect these pieces of paper or have your teacher collect them, I'm going to have you enter some of your results into a quiz. Yep, three quizzes in a day. Uh, I will leave this quiz open and allow 24 hours to complete it. So if you don't finish it in class, you can still get it done. Uh, you can work with your partner. Next class, we will take up the second component of, component of total profit, which is cost. Hang on to these worksheets. Again, you will need them. Good luck.